grew up in Houston, Texas. I got two brothers. My dad raised us. Uh, he was a draftsman. And when I decided to go into dentistry, I almost got a laugh because he, he thought I wanted to, he thought I was going to college to get a husband. <laughs> No. And I did end up going to uh, the University of Texas for my dental degree. And after that, the Navy was very interesting. For instance, with the physical fitness test, women had to do only 23 push-ups in two minutes and the guys had to do 80. And I didn't think that was fair, so I did the 80. And so in the Navy, we did a lot of dentistry with uh, the admirals in Bethesda. I was in a general practice residency. We got in depth with everything. It got me really passionate about comprehensive dentistry. They raised my rank to lieutenant commander and I was only in for four years. So usually that takes six. So I guess I did okay in the Navy. Opportunity that came out of the blue that was Key West. It was working at Monroe County Health Department. Uh, saw lots and lots of uh, people that were on Medicaid and needed reduced fees and met a lot of very interesting people. We ended up getting so many patients that we needed more space and I needed, I realized we needed to go out into the real world. I just had this vision of this little conch house. I didn't realize it was a conch house and it had three palm trees in front of it. And so when my husband showed me there was a for sale sign and it was owner financed was it. Um, I got to have some fun uh, owning a business and having employees and we were doing fine. I ended up making it to where I was working three days a week and everything was grand. I was very happy, fine, comfortable until my thumbs broke. I got arthritis in my thumbs and there is no words for how scared and how sad you can be when you lose the thing that you really love because your body won't, won't work. Income was going down to nothing and it looked like I was going to lose the building. Then we had the downturn and we also had an oil spill all around that same time. And then I had to make a decision and the decision was that I was going to think differently and I was going to do things differently and I had to be really brave and had to be courageous and had to be uncomfortable. So now every time I'm uncomfortable, I know I'm growing and I'm probably doing the right thing. So I decided that I was going to uh, do a exams for patients because I, I, that's, that's all I could do that, that, that wouldn't hurt. When I decided to, to not die and not walk away, I hired some itinerant docs and they came in a few days a month. The docs were happy to come because they were coming to paradise and this, the, the, my patients were happy because I was still around and they knew that they were going to get good care. I still had their trust. So our doctors grew, our doctors' days grew and uh, the word got out that I, on the small island that I wasn't you know, out of business. I was starting to get back on my feet that I get a disc in the mail that has my staff on the phone speaking with a new patient and it was totally botched <laughs> and I said okay that's it. For years I'd been saying I need to train people on the phone so I just put my foot down, called them, knew that the training would go a lot faster, got involved with them all the way. They are exactly what I needed to make things happen in the time span that I have left to make things happen. All Scheduling Institute has done is sort of shake up those old ways of thinking and go, hey, why don't you think this way? <laughs> and if you get in the habit of it, look what will happen. With Scheduling Institute, my staff is inspired. We're all inspired. We all have a whole lot more fun now because of it. Well, I've been in dentistry for 20 years and I've never, after coming to work for Dr. Pape, I've never felt so much part of the team and the business. Um, when you come to work every day and you want to do good because the better the office does, the better I do. Um, we have so many great ideas that we try to 
get together at least once a month and put our heads together. It's everything's more structured. Um, every you know what's going on. Everybody's on the same page, and um, now with all the incentives, we're happier to come to work because we know we're all working as a team towards the same goal. Uh, we've gotten rid of a lot of clutter, and we've organized the office to look much better um, as far as when new patients come in, the new patient experience. Um, I'm in charge of new patients at the front, and the answering the calls and getting people certified to um, be on the phone and get the new patient scheduled. Our major challenge this year was Hurricane Irma. We came off our best month ever in our little dental lives, and it was in August when we make nothing in August. And then we had Irma. We were scheduled for a training uh, the day that the storm hit. Scheduling Institute was coming down to do a training for, for staff. And we had to tell them they couldn't come because we were having a Category 5 hurricane. Staff didn't, wasn't able to come back. We were off pretty much for um, a good month and weren't really getting back to business for a month and a half. But it was also because of Scheduling Institute that we were able to weather that storm, which some of the other dentists got hit really badly and, um, and weren't able to weather the storm. Scheduling Institute has helped us with um, new habits. Those new habits were absolutely instrumental in our weathering the storm as well as we did. One of them was the, the handling of money um, and, 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 and how to divide it out in order to be prepared for the future. Since Scheduling Institute, we are now marketing and that I realized was one of the dumbest things I had never done was market. I should have been marketing from the get-go and it, it paid off big time. We're used to making, uh, having only about 40 new patients average in a month. We had a, a record-breaking month in December. We had over 75 new patients come in. That was a record for us. So. Working with Scheduling Institute, in 2016, last year, we made our best year ever, ever, ever. It's like, we can actually do this? Then in 2017, February, we had our best month ever. We were over $100,000 for the first time in our history. Then in August, right before the storm, we did it again. We did even better than we did in February. And this quarter, we made our goal this quarter, even with the storm, which is, I mean, when you can do things that you just don't think you can do and you actually do them, it just, it feels so good. It feels so good. It feels like all that hard work is really worth it. And on top of that, we did for the first time over a million dollars in ever, ever. We made the year's collection goal of over a million bucks for the first time in my life. There's no way to describe that feeling of, of Having, of making a change, of creating something that's helped so many patients, so many staff, we, and 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 our little community. There's there are no words for being able to do that. It's not like, it's it's not like a day to day drudge work. It's like go to work and let's see what other crazy new things that we can do for people. I can't do this because the storm was in the way. I can't do this because. My thumbs don't work. I can't do this. There's so many reasons for can't. And Scheduling Institute really picks away at those and helps you look beyond what you think you can do and helps you make the very most and best of yourself. It's being ready for, for, for change and taking it on. And... Uh, realizing it's going to take some energy and you've got what it takes. That's a big, big thing. Even if you don't have what it takes, just being brave. <laughs>